Our existence, you see, is something that is spontaneous. The Chinese word for nature, zhizhan, means that which happens of itself. Your hair grows by itself. Your heart beats by itself. You breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control over these things. So we say it happens spontaneously. So when you go to sleep and you try to go to sleep, you interfere with the spontaneous process of going to sleep. Try to breathe, you know, real hard, and you find you get balled up in your breathing. You've got to let go and let it happen. Because if you don't, you're going to be all clutched up. You're going to be constantly trying to do what can happen healthily only if you don't try. But we have a strange anxiety in us that if we don't interfere, it won't happen. And that's the root of an enormous amount of trouble. But the basis of it all is this, then. If we say, you must survive, or I must survive, life is earnest, and I've got to go on, then your life is a drag and not a game. Now, it's my contention, my personal opinion, this is my basic metaphysical axiom, shall we put it that way, that existence, the physical universe, is basically playful. There is no necessity for it whatsoever. It isn't going anywhere. That is to say, it doesn't have some destination that it ought to arrive at. In music, one doesn't make the end of a composition. If that were so, the best conductors would be those who played fastest. People would go to a concert just to hear one crashing chord, because that's the end. Same way in dancing. You don't aim at a particular spot in the room. That's where you should arrive. The whole point of the dancing is the dance. 